Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Stolen Dance by a band called Milky Chance. So, um, just got a request for this one. I'd never actually heard it, but it's got some nice little finger picking in it and it's, um, some good little chords. So, let's take a look at it here. We're going to have three sections just the verse and the chorus, and then uh, a little guitar solo section. So, we're going to start here just with a bar chord, a uh, G sharp minor bar chord. Full bar of the fourth fret. You really actually don't need that if you don't want to, but uh, we're gonna do it just you know just so you know where these chord shapes are coming from. You're gonna start with just your finger picking here, and we're gonna pick the sixth string, and then to these three strings now with your thumb on the fifth string, index finger on the D string and the uh, G string with your middle finger. Now as you pick those three strings, release the pressure on the chord. Don't leave the strings, just, you're still on the strings, you just kind of relieve pressure and then come back down and, put, and pick it again and release it again. So that's how you get the rhythm of the song going. Alright, so we got... Then move down two frets and place your, now your middle finger at the third fret on the G string to make it an F sharp major chord. But you're just still picking just those three strings. You're not going down to the sixth string now. And then to an E major chord, the same thing. So we have this. All right, so you're just hitting those same three strings. Now I'm gonna come back up here. Uh, now it's basically, the note you want to concentrate here on sixth fret on the A string, fourth fret, you're barring across the D and the G strings. So you're still picking the same three strings. So you see I'm just killing the sound. And then we go over to this E flat major chord here, which he's changing the strings that he's going to be playing, picking on here. It's going to be fifth fret on the D string, third fret on the G. We'll just bar it. And then you have the uh, fourth fret on the B string. So you're picking the same, using the same fingers, but you're picking the fourth, third, and second string. So we have, sorry. Alright, so the only time you went down to that low sixth string was the, the, on the very first chord. Alright, now the chorus sounds like this. And then it goes back into the verse from there. So that's just basically an E uh, major chord. You can just do the bar, but you're really still just hitting these three strings, which pretty much makes it a power chord. So it's the seventh fret on the A string, and then the D and G strings, the ninth fret. Make those together. And then you go to like a B major chord here. You can hold the full, full chord if you want to know where it's coming from, but the only strings you're actually picking. So this is the same chord we did here at the second fret, instead of the seventh fret. And you're still just picking the fourth, fifth, and third strings again. So we have this. Then it moves. Uh, you can just consider this. Uh, this is a dominant seven chord here off this D sharp. So we're going to be. You can hold that full shape once again, but we're going to be barring at the sixth fret, eighth fret on the D. And you're going to get that sixth fret on the G there with that bar too. So you're still going to be picking the fourth, third, and I mean fifth, fourth, and third strings. Still the same muting of each chord. All right, now we're back to the first chord in the uh, verse, followed by the second chord. So those are the last two chords in the chorus. We have. Alrighty. 
So the only part we have to talk about now, it uses the same chords um, pretty much for the first half that we did in the verse or the intro of the song, uh, but it finger picks, there's a little finger pecking pattern on them. And now it still has the other guitar part going on underneath it. So this little finger picking version of it kind of acts as a solo. All right, and it sounds like this. All right, so once again, I'm just that's that same G sharp minor chord. I'm just cutting a hold into only three notes that are actually in the pattern. So this is this fourth fret on the G, sixth fret in the D and the A. So you pick the two outside strings there. You pick the fifth string with your thumb, and then you pick the, the G string with your, in, your middle finger. Then you pick the thumb on the fifth string again, index on the fourth, and then the uh, middle finger on the G string. So we have this. it with a hit on the fifth string again with a thumb. So we have this. Just repeat that. Alright, so it's going to use that same pattern on every, so all of them are three string chords. We have down to the next chord which is the F sharp uh, major. Just those three strings though again, same picking pattern. Down to the E. So that pattern was done twice on the E. Then we change things up a little bit. Do this B major chord here. We just use your third finger, barred across the second, third, and fourth strings. So you're gonna do the picking pattern on those three strings now. And then move it up here to the eighth fret is the E flat major chord. So we have this. And you're just kind of repeating that same picking pattern so it's nice and easy. All right, so that's pretty much it for the song. It's, uh, I hope you guys, some of you guys will know this song, some of you don't. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool. For uh, It's got some nice chords in it and some nice little finger picking stuff. All right, I enjoy doing it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.